hi welcome to this tutorial series on design pattern in this video I'm going to cover prototype design pattern so this is the fourth creational design pattern I already covered singleton factory and builder design pattern so if you have not seen those video please get it from my channel just click on this button here on the bottom of this video and from my channel just go to the playlist and select the design pattern list or you can directly click on subscribe button here so then you will get a notification once I upload a new video okay so let's get started so yeah prototype design pattern we'll discuss the real world example with the introduction then I'm going to implement uh, this pattern using Eclipse okay so let's get started so prototype design pattern is very useful when object creation is costly operation okay so this pattern avoids to creation of same objects so using prototype pattern the clone method is used to return same object instance yeah definitely it's a creational design pattern so it's about creation of the object so this design pattern is mostly used when we don't want to create multiple objects in our applications due to uh, less memory and you want to we want to boost the performance of our application such that the object creation will be less and so using this design pattern uh, we generally use clone method to get the same objects when the object is very costly uh, so we use the clone method of the same object of the class and that clone method will return us the object instance so as you see this example here is a manage is just a um, employee manager and director class so employee class is the abstract class and manager and director so this is a small application so suppose this application is used uh, in multiple places so definitely we need to create the manager and director objects to use them so using this design pattern we'll, we will create a cache which have the information of imp different employees and using cache will return the same employee instance it won't create a new uh, object so let's create let's do the implementation using Eclipse so I have already created a design pattern project in my last videos so where yeah I have builder factory and singleton package so prototype package I also created so let's create employee manager and director class into uh, this package okay so let's create an offset class first which is employee class okay so let's let's make this class as abstract class and we'll extend this class into other classes okay so let's create it as abstract public abstract okay so let's create an ID here public string id so id will be the employee id so let's add setter and getter for this id select all click ok so in this class we will be going to override clone interf uh, method so we need to implement Canole clonable interface for that okay so this interface provides clone method public object clone okay so here we will return it is an object class so we'll return super dot clone okay so we need to catch the exception so let's provide a throw keyword for that 
okay so our employee class is ready so now let's create other classes we have a manager class so manager class will extend employee class extends employee and let's create a type variable here public string type so let's make it final static so this is a constant we just uh, use this constant for the class type so it's a manager class okay and let's create one function to show that manager types this should return or we can directly use a void method show this will show the type okay so this will show type so same way let's create one more class which is a, our director class okay so here also we need to extend employee class and let's provide same implementation here okay let's copy paste this this is director class extend employees director and here should be a director okay so our domain classes are ready let's create a cache class which will hold the list uh, the map of the employee so in this class we will create a map which will hold the different objects of employees so let's create a map of string as key and value as employee and let's give a name cache equal to new has map okay so let's create a function to load the well some default value into the map so let's do that Let's create a static void load function and here let's create some objects and put them into the map map dot put so here we can put the ID as one it should be a new manager okay so now let's put some directors okay so we need to make it static let's make it static okay so we have added two values so let's create a static block such that this map will be loaded while the class will be loaded so we can call this function here load function so we need to get the values from the map so for that purpose let's create a function where we will pass the id and this should be get employees and this should return so this is caches okay let's change the name so here we have to return so id base and we can directly clone it and return it from here and this should return an employee okay 
so let's type cast this to employ okay, we need to add the exception here okay let's add a throw keywords okay so now we can test this we can create a test class and then we can create different employees so let's make a employee test or prototype test okay so in this class let's first create a main method and then let's say we have employee even so we can get it from okay let's change the class name should be cache okay so we can directly call the static function get employee here just pass let's say we uh, want the employee first so this should return employee okay let's add the throw keyword so so whenever uh, someone requested for same type so we can uh, we can just return the clone we don't have to create the object again so the ID is first for the employee and ID 2 is for the manager so if you see our cache class this is our cache class so here the first is for ID first is for manager and 2 is for director so it means uh, whenever someone requested for manager class objects with one ID so it will directly return the a clone of that class okay so same way we can create different objects let's say we have 6 e3 e4 e5 e6 and let's print all of them even dot we can just call so we have a show method let's check it out should be in the employee class yeah we have created a method into so we need to put this we need to put this into the parent class also okay so this should be abstract method okay so now we can call it into using the instance of employee class parent class such that we can show which object is getting created okay so it is e2 it is e3 e4 e5 e6 okay so let's run this and we can test this okay so yeah so I let's check the output first so the first we have created manager director again same way so uh, this is a small example here we have only two classes manager and director so let's say we have n number of hierarchies of the classes so now uh, we don't want to create the object of the class again with the new keyword we can directly get it from the clone so clone will copy it and provide to us so uh, so in this way we can avoid creation of multiple objects into our application we can create a cache class and uh, we can directly return the clone from uh, our cache classes so that's all for the prototype pattern design pattern in my next video i will discuss about other design patterns so thanks for watching bye bye